going to love my chicken teriyaki skewers that are paired perfectly with my Thai pineapple fried rice. The ingredients are simple and easy to make. We use soy sauce, honey, pineapples, chopped pineapples, and brown sugar, just to, the simple ingredients to make this amazing sauce. First, we're going to start off with pouring in all of our soy sauce. Then we're going to add in our packed brown sugar, the crushed pineapples, and you're going to leave the juice in because that's going to add to our flavor. And then we're going to go ahead and add in some fresh honey. And the honey, all those flavors together, is just going to give it a nice, subtle teriyaki flavor. Once I'm telling you, once you start using this homemade teriyaki sauce you will never go back to using a store-bought jar flavored teriyaki sauce because this is so much better and it's so simple most of these ingredients I'm sure you already have at home so once you put the honey in and honey can be a little sticky sometimes but we won't get all that honey out of there especially when using fresh honey and we'll use just a little dash of ginger and parsley flakes inside of the the sauce and stir it around on the stove we're gonna whisk it for about 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 10 minutes just so that it can cook down and your sugar can begin to caramelize and once that it has cooked down and you can see that it start to marry together and you don't have any more chunks of sugar in there anymore you turn the heat off and you set it aside and let it cool because you don't want to add the sauce warm to your chicken because we are going to make it into a skewer. I'm using chicken thighs, but you can also use chicken breast. And I've already cut these into chicken slices just so they'll be easy to put onto our skewers. But you can use any type of meat that you like. I'm going to season it gently with just a little bit of salt. Not a whole lot, just, just a little bit of salt and mix it around. Um, just to tenderize that chicken a little bit and then we're going to place our sauce on top of the chicken um, You can whisk it up just a little bit do a little mix to the chicken to where all of it is coated with the sauce And then we're going to take it and cover it with some saran wrap and sit it on the side for about 30 minutes in the fridge and then we're going to get our pan together Remove it after it's already been chilled for about 30 minutes. Look at it, it's nice and cool. It has the sauce all over it. Now we get a plate, separate from the plate that we're gonna be cooking on, and we're gonna have our skewers. If you're confused about where to find skewers, they're often at the Dollar Tree or in the general merchandise aisle at your local grocery store. Then we're gonna take those chicken pieces and we're going to accordion style it on to the skewer. We're going to take the chicken and we're going to make one hard pierce using the pointy side of the skewer and we're going to go back and forth and back and forth again until we get to the end of that piece of chicken. Then you take the skewer and pull the chicken piece throughout the whole chicken piece as far as you can without it coming off of the skewer. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for all of our chicken thigh or chicken part pieces until they're layered nicely onto all of your skewers. So just keep going until you get all your chicken or shrimp or whatever meat that you're using on the skewers lined up and ready and go ahead and accordion style you're gonna do the same process for all of your meat then we have our pan that we're going to be using because I'm going to bake this chicken but also if you had a grill you can go ahead and grill them outside or in um, or in your kitchen if you have a stovetop grill but I'm going to bake these I'm going to place some first I put a little pan and I sprayed it the pan with that and we're going to place the chicken on coordinating side, chicken, then skewer, chicken, and skewer, and space them out on the pan. Then we're going to take a little bit of seasoning. If you, if you have any 
my everything bagel sauce with sesame seed this would be a great time to go ahead and use that on your chicken skewers because those sesame seeds give it a nice authentic teriyaki look when we're baking it we're going to go 10 minutes on each side because it's just skewers and it'll be easy to go ahead and finish that way once your chicken is done completely you can go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more of sesame seeds seeds on top of it or even parsley figs just to give it a little bit of flavor and look this day i paired it with some yellow rice but as you know i love to eat it with my pineapple fried rice whenever i cook that and i'm having a poolside party because that is definitely a winner when it's sticking out of a fresh pineapple don't forget to watch our pineapple fried rice recipe to go with this chicken teriyaki.